As you might have guessed, the editing process for the Kriegoff series was epic, and as always, some stuff doesn't make it to the final cut. This little video is a couple of those bits that I wanted to share, but couldn't find a good place to use in the full tour. Firstly, John and I are having a mess about in the woodroom, and later Wolfgang showing us the Kriegoff Semprio. I hope you enjoy these little leftover snippets. So, um, John and I have been left alone in here for a little while, and we, we've just started rifling around and looking at the woods. <laughs> so we're looking, this is the grade zero through one and two grades of wood, and we are just having a bit of a, a rifle, just to, you know, out of interest. And this is the bit that I'm... I'm always into <laughs> yeah. looking at stock blanks. It's yeah, just, yeah. I mean, that's a zero. That's a zero. That's Billy basic. Feel the weight of it though. It is a heavy nice blank. and dense. It's actually got a nice bit of figure in it. Strong at the head end. Bit of figure at the back. Look at that zero as well. That's again. You wouldn't yeah. be upset. And then into the ones. Again, strong in the head. Figure at the back, dense. Oh, you're yeah, the, yeah, that's tour, yeah, that's nice. What is that? Is that a two or three? It's a three. Three. Yeah, but it's just a nice bit of colour in that, isn't it? Yeah. Long and thin, game gone, but yeah, I think I prefer mine. Yeah, all right. I've just pulled one out. It's in a competition. It totally is a competition. That's nice. That's got some nice fiddle back in it. That'll look quite nicely tiger strike up when it's when it's cut through, I'd say. Good density through there. Again, strong, straight at the head end. I mean Right, it's not it's not pretty. No. But if you want a tool yeah, that's gonna balance yeah, that yeah. is not gonna recoil, just Oh, you, you, you can't, uh, that is dense. You can stick some big barrels on that and it is going to balance. Nice. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, hello. Mm. Mm, custom grid. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got grid four. That's also a great four, nice honey and black. Yeah, I like the colour of that. Yeah. Yeah. Prettier on either side. You can see the grades have just jumped up yeah. from, you know, one, two, three. Oh, no. That. Yeah, but that, that, that's, <laughs> that's the best blank we've seen. I mean, custom three. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice, though. What's that? Custom one? Yeah. That's well, got some nice, like, kind of smoke in it. Bit of fiddle back here. Again, these are all really well chosen stocks, like. I think there's not a. Yeah, is that what, what grade is that? One. Custom one. Yeah, it's still that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I win? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I quite like that actually. Yeah, that is nice. Bit of lower. Ooh. Yeah, that's so, that is different, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. When's the ferry again? <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, you know. People get obsessed with like really, really, really dark wood, yeah. but on a on Contrast. a darker action, it's Contrast. it's just so dramatic, that isn't it? Yeah. And these, you're seeing these flat. You're not seeing these oval. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they must have some. They have They'll some sort of oil on, haven't they? Bring some depth out. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I think that's the winner. Yeah, it's got to be, isn't it? No bother. So we're just going to pop that in your bag, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a shame to cut that out and make it into a stock, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Put links on your desk. Mm. 
I'm sure we'll get a deal on it, think. Yeah. <laughs> Very unique rifle. It's not a John new one, but it doesn't matter. This hard works. <laughs> <laughs> so it does not have a, a bolt handle, yeah. as, as you normally would expect it from a rifle like this. Um, it has a manual cocking device, which means if this is forward position, then it's ready to shoot. Mm -hmm. As you know from your R8, same, yeah, yeah. same, same technology. Uh, if it's in the back position, then Safe. you will not, not be able to shoot. Yeah. So the spring is not cocked inside. Mm -hmm. It's not a safety, it's a manual cocking device. Decock, yeah, yeah. And um, to, to open this thing is, you have an opening operation position here. Yeah. So you can slide the cocking lever to the right and you can slide it to the middle. Mm -hmm. Middle is shooting position, the right position is the open and service position, we call it. Mm -hmm. uh, what we use for loading and for unloading the gun. So if you push the cocking uh, mechanism in this right position, you will see already it opens the system yes, I see it. automatically. So you can just open it like this, you pull the barrel away from you. So how does the ejector work? I'll show you. Okay. <clears throat> So to open the rifle like this, uh, we'll give you access to the magazine. It holds four plus one cartridges. Put the magazine back in. You close the system. You will load the first cartridge yep. already. Gun is still in service position. Yes. You need to switch it back to straight. Push it forward and you're ready to shoot. And the, the greatest thing of this is you can actually mount the gun, you can shoot it, you do it like this. Ready to go again. <laughs> That's how quick it goes. Okay. And you will not lose your... your, your Eyesight to the target. Yeah, yeah, your sight picture stays. It's only, I mean, the time you actually use for the recoil, recoil will chuck the gun out like this. Yeah. This is the time you use for re for, for, for re aiming. Yeah. So it's really, really quick. So I shot like three, four round balls out of one group. Is this, is this, uh, well, of course you did. Easily. <laughs> 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 and uh, what, Ralph, what, what Ralph was telling you during the lunch break, when the gun is open, you have a lever here. Mm -hmm. So you can switch this to the back position. It will have two parts. So this is quick detachable <laughs> and it's really a takedown gun because you don't need yeah. any tools for that. Good traveling, yeah. And uh, of course it gives, you, it gives you the opportunity to use different calibers yes. for one gun. So you can have uh, interchangeable guns. As long as they're the same yeah. size. Exactly. And you have uh, the bolt heads also. So there's three sizes as you know from, from yeah, the yeah. gun. It's the same thing. So you have your mini, you have a standard and you have a magnum. And this comes off with our tools also. <laughs> Toolless. You just click on the new one. And take your outer barrel. That's it. And this, I'm guessing this receiver is aluminium. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you can continue shooting. And it also has a set trigger. If you want to have really a really far distance shot, so you have a really, really fine trigger mm -hmm. weight, so you can use the set trigger. Otherwise, for driven hunting, you have a trigger weight for one kilo. Right. Yeah. Which, right. Is, which is nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So if you shoot wild or driven game, one kilo is more than enough. Um, if you're together with other hunters and you want to carry the gun in a safe position, so this is probably a position you don't want, so you can actually lock the gun in place with this lever here, uh -huh. so it just secures it here. Neither open so nor closed. Everybody close. can see the gun is open, yeah. so they're safe, so no problem. If you're in a shooting range and you shoot quite a lot, a lot of times, so you can lock it up in the front position also, yeah. and you can actually set it in the gun rest. Everybody can see the thing is yeah. open. So I'm guessing the ejector is actually the ejector pin it's itself. It's spring loaded. It's the ejector pin exactly. But you are the the that one here. Oh, yeah. This is the spring loaded. Right. So actually, when you put the cartridge in, mm -hmm. this is a, this is a dummy round, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> 30 or 6? 30 or 6? Dummy. So, put this in the magazine. And we'll load it up. So the cartridge will actually will push in the spring loaded pin. Yes. And it's right up the follower. Yep, yeah. Exactly. And when you open it, the spring loaded pin goes against the cartridge. Yes, it flips it out. And as soon as the cartridge actually reaches this spot here, you just flip it out. Right. It's all there. It's just a spring loaded pin, yeah. actually. That's a very cool thing. Uh, nice, yeah. Definitely. I've never seen one before. Didn't even know they existed. Yeah, I shot a lot with that guy. Can I try? Yeah, of course. You know you want to as well. <laughs> you cock it, you push the cocking lever in, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and it's even much nicer if you really shoot with it. Yeah. Because the recoil, as I said, you, you have to gun like, you, well, you hold it like that, and the recoil actually kicks the rear part into your shoulder. Yes. Which means you're halfway there. What it actually does, it does this. Yeah. This is what it does by itself. So you only have to finish, this, finish the movement actually. So it's even quicker actually if you shoot with real cartridges. It's out. It's cocked already? It's just cocked already to fail. And this is what I tell you about. If you get ready to shoot, you actually pull the gun automatically into your shoulder. Because you close the gun by pulling the foreign towards you. Thinking about it, it's very, very much, I would imagine, like a kind of a driven gun, because you wouldn't it put is. a bipod on that. No. Or shoot it off sticks, because no. no. everything would be in the way. But it is, it is made for driven guns, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's the main advantage of the whole system. Yeah. So what, what's locking the lock, locking the bolt? I have no idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not rotating, is it? No. Uh, well, it is rotating. Is it? It is rotating, yes. But you, the, your, your question is what, keeps it, it, what keeps it in the back position? No, right? no, no. Pop it open. Open it. So don't close it now. <laughs> yeah. This front part of the of the bolt head yeah. will actually touch the front part, the face of the barrel. Yeah. And when it gets forced from the pop from the top, it will Is it, calm? it will it will turn. Comes around. Okay. When I take it apart, so it's easy, more easy to understand. Because it's got quite a lot of locking lugs. Seven. Yeah. Wow. And it does this movement. Ah, ah yeah. I couldn't see it from the outside. Yeah. Right. I was looking for the whole and that's bolt what to rotate. Does when it actually touches the barrel, it touches the barrel like this. And then start turning. Yeah, okay, I get it. You cannot do anything else, it can only make this movement. Mm. Because there's a steering curve inside. Yeah, it come on the inside, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah caught you. Yeah, that's, that's what it actually does. And it also. Um, I mean, it looks like an AR bolt. Now it stays back because yeah. this is the lock up system. So there are three bolts inside which engage, mm. which holds it in the back position. And also, uh, when you cock it, the firing pin inside here. Mm -hmm. So it turns, it turns, it turns, it turns. You will not see a firing pin. Mm -hmm. Turns, 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 turns. Now it's finished with the turning movement. Mm -hmm. And if I push it back a little bit more, you will see the firing pin coming out. Right. Which means it can only fire when it's 100% locked. Yes. That's the, that's the safety. There's no safety potential part. of it, like early strike. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It can, can never happen. So it must be 100% turned. Mm -hmm. And this allows, to, uh, allows the firing pin actually to move out to the front. Mm. Otherwise, the firing pin is just too short. Yeah. Another like.